Hello, dear colleagues. This is Thomas Nord, uh, the founder of Augmentation Implants. Today, we want to make a bone ring, allograft bone ring on a model. So come with me and let's see if I can do it. <laughs> We want to um, make an implant here with bone ring technique. First I mark the position for the implant. Then I take the first drill for the pilot drilling. This should be an ideal implant position. Of course, you can use templates or something like that. Here we do it very fast because you want to, don't want to see me uh, implant dr drilling for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, now we take the first tree fine with a pin in the center. I've chosen a seven millimeter ring because we have enough space. That's enough. Now we need a rasp to remove uh, the bone. Of course, it's a little bit difficult in this model. Oh, it works. Okay, now the second drill is the so-called planator for creating a good surface on the bottom. You can see it only depends on the defect. Uh, you don't have to create a ring bed in uh, 10 millimeters long. Now we take the fourth step for the ring. Okay, and now we can look where we want to um, cut the ring. I would say we should cut it here. It's about five millimeters. Mm -hmm. We need the diamond disc. Pay attention to your fingers. Don't do this in a real surgery, but there are no bacteria on it if it still was less than three seconds on the floor. <laughs> we say in Germany. Now place the ring to the recipient side. And we do the last osteotomy for the implant. The neck of the implant should be a few millimeters inside the ring, about two millimeters. Normally it's enough if, when you just hold the ring a little bit. So we go about two dots on the surface. And again, if the ring has some mobility left, you can use membrane screw or fixation screw. It's this little thing here. And with this screw you can put some or add some pressure on the ring. It gets compressed to the button. Okay. Of course you have to smoothen the edges. And now, normally you would um, add some particulated bone craft material like um, cerabone, bio-os, 
Some con colleagues use um, Allograd to fill up the gaps here. I would do a further GBR here. And of course you need a membrane because the um, Allograft ring technique is a kind of guided bone regeneration. We don't want to get uh, soft tissue cells into the area of regeneration. Okay, I hope you liked it. It's only a small overview about the bone ring technique. It's a very technique sensitive uh, thing, the bone ring technique. You should follow the procedure step by step. But if you do it and if you respect uh, the biological, um, how do you say, biologische Grenzen in Deutsch, um, it's a very good and um, trustable technique. Have a nice day, stay safe and see you.